You have a lot of choices when picking out a board. You can get a standard street board, you can get a freestyle board. They even make the old school vert boards that have a big square tail and a tiny little nose. Um, you know, it just depends on what you start to get into. But when you're first starting, I suggest going with your standard street board. Because with this, you can do anything. You can do, well, street, obviously, you know, you can do tech and big gaps. You can do uh, freestyle. You can do ramps and parks, you know. And then once you start to figure out what you like most, then you can start to get a board that suits that better. So, you start off with a standard size, standard shape, and figure out where to go from there. Okay, so when picking out a deck, first thing you want to worry about is the size. And I have pretty big feet, and I, this board is a 7.3 that I skate. This one is a 7.75. So, you can get used to you know, whatever you buy. Eventually, you can get used to it. Um, most people when they start and they're still pretty young have kind of small feet still uh, they tend to go with 7.5 inches wide um, but it's really not that important you know I've had a 7.9 before and you can get used to it you know it's not harder to flip because you know it's wider you actually have more torque you know it, it all works out so just if you have a skate shop to go to just you know stand on, on top of a few boards you know figure out how it feels best, you know, uh, if, if your friends skate, try their boards out, see uh, whatever you like. So standard sizes are uh, 7.5, 7.625, and 7.75. Um, the, the length is pretty standard. Um, that's really the only major difference between boards, uh, aside from the concave. That's the second thing you have to worry about, and that's how steep the tails are, you know, how much it dips like this, that's the concave, um, how round the tails are, and it's a lot like the size. You can get used to it, but if you have a skate shop that you can go to, you know, just check them out, see what you like. Um, when learning, it's probably a good idea to get a board that's not very steep. Um, you know, if the tails aren't that steep, the concave is kind of flat, It's you have more control o over it. Like this has pretty steep tails, which means that it's easy to get really high with, um, but it also means that you kind of have to get high to do a trick. Um, so when you're beginning, get something kind of flat, has a lot of control, it's comfortable, you don't need to worry about popping really hard when doing basic stuff, you know, um, just like that. So. Uh, there are a bunch of different brands you can buy. You know, I'm not going to tell you which one's best because you know I haven't tried them all, and it's just personal preference anyway. Um, the one last thing is to not worry about weight too much. You know, I know a lot of people who are always saying how they want you know the most light setup possible. They want the deck that has a little air pockets in it, so it's just that much lighter, and it's not that important. I have to say. I had a pretty heavy setup before. It was Destructo trucks, uh, Dark Star board. It was all pretty heavy, and my friend Tony had the lightest setup he could come up with. It was a feather light with a TI light trucks, and you know the, the lightest thing possible. And in switching between my board and his, you know it felt a little bit different, but tricks weren't harder or easier on either. So it's not that important. You know brands will try to you know tell you that they're the lightest, you should go with them, but it's not important. Okay, so second thing you want to worry about is the trucks. Now, um, there's not too big of a difference between trucks. These are, are tensors. They're a little more expensive than your standard trucks, but they have more features. They have the slider plate on there. And when you're first starting, um, I'd suggest going with Ventures because they're pretty cheap. You know, a truck's a truck, really. You know, they work fine. They grind. They slide. There's nothing wrong with them. They're good. Um, but just try out and figure out what you like. There's really not much to say about those, um, except for the the size. You know, you can get the size that it goes standard with your your deck that lines up perfectly. Um, but if you want to get into freestyle, you can get one size smaller, which means that the board will sort of tilt this way when you're standing uh, in a rail stand like this. And that means that you're much more likely to land something than to fall backwards with it. Um, it's just a little more stable, and 
you know, it's your choice really. You have a little less space for grinding and things like that, but you know, it's pretty small difference. Now, the wheels, um, they have a really big difference. They make a really big change in how your board feels, depending on size and the, the hardness of them. Um, standard sizes are anywhere between 50 millimeters and 56, I'd say. Uh, back in the very early 90s, they'd skate in the 30s, you know, like just bigger than the bearing. So, you know, really you can skate whatever you want. But uh, I like 54s myself. This ground is pretty rough. You know, the bigger your wheel is, the faster you can go, really. Or the better the wheel keeps its spinning momentum, at least. You know, if it's really big, for each rotation the wheel makes, the bearing goes not, you know, it goes less. If you have a really big wheel, you can go a little faster, keep your momentum a little better. But it's not that big of a deal, really. Just figure out what you like most. Try something standard somewhere in the middle. If you want to try bigger, try bigger. I've tried 58s, which are nice. But if you get too big, you have to start getting uh, riser pads under here. Because when you turn, it'll just touch the deck right away because it's so close. Um, next is the hardness. Uh, standard is 99A or 98 or 100, you know, just right in there, standard range. Um, if you are riding something really soft, or <laughs> if you're riding something really rough, you should go with something soft because it contours to the ground a little bit better so it's smoother. That's what filmers and uh, pro videos use. They have really big, really soft wheels, so they're quiet and they're, they're really smooth so the camera doesn't shake. But they're also kind of slow, you know, since they're always sort of, you know, forming and bending to the ground, they lose some of the momentum. Uh, really hard ones will slide easy or too easy, depending on what you're skating. Um, if you go with the standard 99A or something, you should be fine. Uh, there's not too much to worry about. Just if you start to get into specialized stuff, like if you bomb hills and you're going really fast, you know, you probably want softer ones or, you know. In the beginning, 99As, uh, you should be fine. Okay, now the bearings in there, uh, with these you pretty much get what you pay for. If you buy the most expensive bearings out there, you'll probably go faster. Um, I like Bones Reds. Those are really good. They're cheap, and they last long, and they're fast. You know, they're not incredibly fast. If you're skating ramps or something and you need as much speed as possible, might not be the best choice, but they're good. You know, they last for a while, they're cheap, it's a good choice, I would say. Um, one thing to note is a lot of companies like to say what ABEC bearing or ABEC rating their bearings are and that has almost no relation to skateboarding. That means how perfectly spherical each ball in the bearing is and it doesn't make a difference unless you're using it in big machinery that's going really really fast. So technically you can get an ABEC 1 which will skate really nice or, or an ABEC 7 that isn't that good. So that's not what's important really, um, that's not the best way to rate how good bearings are for skateboarding, so you see some companies don't even say what theirs are. Um, like I said, you, you get what you pay for really. And after this, there's freestyle boards. 